Welcome to another edition of Small Talk for you. This morning I wanted to go through the same kind of exercise I went through in Optic Studio last time, but we're going to use VisualWorks this time. So I've got a menu button here. It's called a menu button instead of a drop down list. And an input field here. And what I like is when I select something here, it shows up here. Now, when you set this up in the GUI builder, this guy has to have an aspect. And of course, you want to have a menu for it if you want to drop down. And then this guy's just got to have an aspect here. So we have this thing set up to option. Now, the thing that's a little annoying is I come in here and I say I want this to be a menu, but it doesn't get generated for me when I go ahead and do the install and define. What I had to do is I had to go over here to the browser and I had to add an instance variable, add the accessors for it, and then to set up the menu, there are a number of different ways I could have done that. What I did is I just used Menu Builder. I could have defined the menu using the menu building tools. I just did this. So I went ahead and said Menu Builder New, gave it this uh, collection here, and then I get my menu. So at this point, this guy works this way, so I can select things. Nothing happens because I haven't linked the widgets up. Now, this is the point where I found this a little simpler at this point in VisualWorks than Object Studio, although giving it the values was not inherently obvious if you're not a VisualWorks developer because knowing that it doesn't generate the menu here for you, you have to hook that all up by hand is, again, not that obvious, I don't think. In any case, they both have their flaws, and this is the one in VisualWorks. At this point, though, I can either do code to hook these guys up using events or value models, or I can go in here and what I can do is just select this guy's property. So I go over here to notification and I say on change, send something like this, selection changed. And I go ahead and do that. And now I go ahead and install this. And this again is another little thing that's a little irritating about VisualWorks. Even though I put in that, it doesn't generate it even if I hit that define. So I have to go here and in the browser, Add a category and I'll say selection changed. And what we'll do is the same thing we put in in Object Studio. We'll put a halt here. So command us to do that. And now what we'll do is we'll open this guy up. So we'll go here to Windows Spec and say open. And we'll select two and we get our halt here. So now just like we did in Object Studio, we have our halt in here. And what I need to do is I'm going to just paste in the code that mostly works here. So one thing that's a little different is that I don't get the string coercion in VisualWorks that I get in Object Studio with input fields. So when I wanted to do this, I went with the default on that input field. I didn't tell it it was going to get numbers. So I'm going to have to send print string to this to get this to work. So let's go ahead and do that and it will run it. And you see that now I get my selection up here and my option down there. So a little bit of legwork. It's a little different than it is in Object Studio. Just something to keep in mind. And there are also different ways you can do this. You could have used value holders and on change send. There are a couple of other ways to do this in VisualWorks, but this would be the way that keeps you mostly in the GUI builder with the caveat that it doesn't generate all the things that you think it ought to generate, just like I showed you. So it's about it for today. Until next time, have fun with whatever small talk you're using.